the uh, wiki site and recreating a healthy local food system. And today she's going to talk about uh, what has happened to local government over the past 10 to 20 years. So with that, Anita, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, talking about relocalization is kind of a, a fun topic, and most people haven't thought much about it, so I love the opportunity to explain what it's all about. Um, I, I told everyone about the, the wiki site, Relocalize Ohio dash Franklin County should get you there. And you can see the different categories that are listed. Each one's a page about local food, local business. There's even uh, information about a local stock exchange. Today I kind of wanted to talk to people about local government. I haven't yet had a chance to put the information I'm going to talk about on that site, but it will be there ultimately probably before tomorrow. Um, a lot of people think they know how local government works, but they really don't understand that a significant change has occurred. And, yes, it is related to uh, Agenda 21 or sustainability that people talk about, and they talk about uh, communitarianism, you know, how they're depriving people of their individual rights um, for the rights of the community. Um, but when I did my research and observed what I saw, it's just a little bit kind of beyond that. Um, I could recommend a great description of what's happened to local government if people want to type in or on a search YouTube dash Joan Vion. Her last name is V E O N. V I O N, isn't it? V E O N. Okay. Um, dash public private partnerships. Joan is the one who actually investigated. She heard the term, and she got very curious, and she went around and started to research what a public-private partnership is. Um, and she's, she does a better job than anybody else, and this is a part of Agenda 21. She didn't mention, but I haven't read her book, so it doesn't mean she doesn't know about it. But she didn't mention that in April of 92, George Bush Sr., signed an executive order, number 12803, calling for the privatization, and they define it as means the disposition or transfer of an infrastructure asset, such as by sale or by long-term lease, from a state or local government to a private party. He signed that into law in 92, and this has been going on. Some of you are aware of this. Some of you know. You've heard stories about how they've sold the turnpike, how they're selling ports. Um, there's, I haven't tracked this down. People believe that they've sold some of our national parks. Um, what they've done is they've pretty much started a sale of our assets and our facilities. In my community, I, I'm still trying to figure out if they sold the utilities. They're selling utilities. They're selling water treatment plants. Mm -hmm. They're privatizing a lot of things in this public-private partnership system that has been set up. Um, people probably also don't realize in 1999, Al Gore, this again Joan Vian brought forward, um, formally announced that we have a new form of government. He calls it the new government of private-public partnership. So this has been going on, and people go to their meetings, and, and I guess what I'm saying is if we're going to try to recover local government, this is a big part of what we're going to have to try to regain control of. If what Drake is saying affects this part of the problem, fabulous. I do a happy dance and a heartbeat. Um, if not, that means that we are going to have to address it. And even as we speak now, they are engaging in more and more of these contracts, and they're creating more public-private partnerships right here in my county. Uh, I'll give you people an example of what they've done. I, have a, I live in a municipality with 35,000 people. The city, in its infinite wisdom, 
Now, I don't think they were broke because we looked at their CAFR accounts, so I'm not entirely sure why they did this. But we hired our own garbage service. We had our own employees, our own trucks. It was our own, and, and they kept the charges and the fees down, and they did a real good job. Then they decided, well, they weren't going to do that anymore. They were going to discontinue that, sell off the trucks, fire the employees, and hire a corporation from out of state to provide the services for the population. Now the city has no control over those services. They can't control the amount. They can't control the quality. It is out of their hands. So this was done without the people's knowledge. The public was told nothing. And when the public rebelled, um, the city told the public too late we signed the contract. This is going on all over the place. Our our governor has just announced that he is going to privatize five prisons. And in the world in which we live in right now, which I'm hoping will change soon, that means that a private company buys these prisons and they 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 either lease or purchase, they 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 get engaged in these contracts. Once that happens, this private company looks upon that prison as a bed count. So they maximize their profits by keeping the prison full. We've already started to see um, these private corporations lobbying legislators to make stiffer laws, stiffer sentences, get more people incarcerated so they can keep their beds full. So Agenda 21, while it is about, it's being sold as a sustainability, that's not really what it's about. It is about the privatization of public services and public assets. Um, unfortunately, most of the the uh, elective representatives, I guess I'm going to call them that, um, have been sold. They think that this partnership idea is warm and fuzzy. And, oh, we're getting into a partnership. We're getting into a partnership. You hear that word locally, you hear it nationally, and you hear it globally. And this concept that they are talking about partnership is nothing more than corporate privatization of services and assets. So even when I spoke with my friends in California and I said, they're telling you to get off the land because they're going to save it for some species or some fish or whatever, um, I said, the truth is, behind. then they go in and they log it. Is that not true? And the reports are coming in everywhere. Yep, that's what's true. They kick the public out, take control of the land, and then they go in and access the resources in any way that they see fit because at that point, they own it. There has been a huge, and I'm hoping Drake's efforts and what these people are doing will reverse the privatization of the public lands that has already taken place. I don't know if Drake is still on the phone. Yes. Uh, I do believe Drake is. Yes, I am. Have you? Are you aware of this, Drake? And do you do you foresee that this is going to be reversed? Well, you're going to have a reset of a whole bunch of things. One of the things that's one of the things that's going is anything that's adverse to the Constitution. That means the UN and all its horse hockey. Uh, is going to see whether or not it can float. You take a bunch of bulldozers and push it off in the water. Good. And in in theory, you know, the sale of these public assets, you know, the public, the taxpayers who paid for them was never um, consulted, right? They never, there was no meeting, at least in my community, there's never been a meeting saying, Oh, by the way, do you guys mind if we sell off the off the public water treatment plant that you guys paid for? I mean, there's something about this that is very nefarious. <laughs> so anyway, um, going to your elected officials, um, there is this YouTube that I told people about with Joan Vian. If you if you put it on a on a DVD, it's only I think. Maximum is 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And um, these contracts that they enter into, there's no obligation. I, mean, I do think they're probably doing it because they think they're, they're told that they will save money 
or maybe there's a financial hardship in the municipality or the county, you know, um, and so they they want the money. Um, and the more press they get for money, I think we've all heard this, the more desperate they get for, for money, they actually do start selling off um, public assets. Ms. Now, Anita. educating the public that this is being done, because trust me, when you talk to the public, a lot of times they're, they don't get it when the water bill changes. They don't get it. Um, they don't really understand it because it is basically being done by stealth. Right. Hey, uh, Anita, I'm sorry. Um, yes. Chris, yes. Chris wanted to uh, chime in and comment there. Sure. Great. Yeah, sometimes hard to hear him. He comes across a little bit soft sometimes like I do. Okay. Good morning, Chris? Anita. Chris Good morning. Here. Good morning, Chris. I want to applaud your informed intellectual addressing of this particular pertinent issue, but it is in fact larger than you may perceive, and I have not had the privilege of viewing Ms. Sian's uh, site yet, although I look forward to doing so as quick as time provides, Mm -hmm. but you're right on track. An important perspective to see is that many of these public rats and Terrocrats that are posing as our elected representatives find it a politically expedient tactic to avoid responsibility for things that they may not be able to accomplish under their public private abilities in the corporate entities that they represent or state corporations that are alleged to be public owned. Absolutely. And they think that they can provide themselves an element of exoneration or placing outside of honor or avoiding the implications for their actions when they assign these to corporate divested interests that they think absolves them from liability for whatever the corporation chooses to do, although they may in fact in many cases do enjoy egregious unjust enrichments by virtue of these created corporate co-conspiratorial relationships with the county, city, state, other governmental appearing entities, although they may in fact likely be private corporate entities without any true public elements to them, although they presume to infer or imply to their public that they are representing their interest when they are absolutely conflicted by other fiduciary relationships of the other corporate interests. Well, this is the primary inspiration for incorporation of these cities and municipalities in the first place is it gives more control over the assets and the constituents of the areas that are falling under the control of the incorporation schemes. That's true, and and I I am aware of that. I mean, I'm aware that my school board was incorporated in 1953 so they can buy and sell assets of all the crazy things. I I am aware of that. However, um, there is some question, and I totally agree with you, but there is some question that there might be a fiduciary duty by the nature of the fact that they are elected. Indeed, there's what's termed the Public Duty Act. Exactly. So they think they're off the hook, but I'm not entirely sure that, that if we knew the right avenue to take, that we could not hold them accountable for their actions. Is that not correct? You are absolutely correct. By being elected public officials, right. they have an expectation of due diligence of performance in the interest to the public who elect them to, to those positions if they know how to hold these criminals at least they were converted to being criminals after the fact by the greed and financial enrichments that are offered by the perversion of their duties to private interests. Absolutely. Um, Before I forget, though, I was hoping to mention a website for people. Chris, you probably already know about this. You're very aware of of this this creation, this monster, (laughs) this PPP. I'm trying to think of a really nasty words to put to PPP to describe what I think of it. But there is a website called Partnership Partnerships for Progress. And when I, because I started to Google this thing, how far is this PPP thing gone? You know, I mean, 
it's all over my backyard, and I'm wondering how far it's gone and how far they think they're going to take it. Well, when I went to that web 